We start, though, with the COVID-19 situation. South Korea expecting to see cases, new ones, hover around the 100,000 mark on this Tuesday as the country heads towards what experts are saying will be the peak of the Omicron wave, which is forecast for later this month or even early March. Authorities, however, have assured that the current situation is still manageable as Omicron does not pose a serious threat to people's health. For more on this, our reporter Chen Minjung is here in the studio with us. Good morning, Minjung. Good morning. So let's start with the local front. How many cases are we expecting today? Well, again, we're expecting to see around 100,000 cases for today from midnight to 9 p.m. on Monday. South, uh, South Korea saw close to 98,000 cases. This is up by more than 4,600 cases from the day before and also a 1.7-fold increase on week. Authorities revealed that 98.9% .9 of infections confirmed last week were the Omicron strain. And in Jeju Island, the variant accounted for 100% of last week's infections. Health authorities made a forecast on Monday based on studies conducted by 10 domestic and foreign institutes that the Omicron wave will hit its peak in late February or early March. And they expect the country to see um, around 140,000 to 270 thousand daily cases. Okay, so experts are forecasting the daily caseload to basically double in the coming weeks. However, uh, officials and healthcare related officials insist they aren't overly concerned about this. Right, Mark. Authorities are cautiously seeing the current situation as an early transition phase uh, of the virus becoming endemic. We've, seen, uh, we've been seeing around 100,000 daily cases in the past couple of days, but the government says that there is no need to be overly concerned. Authorities revealed on Monday that the fatality rate of Omicron is around 0.13 percent, which is a manageable figure. Although it's twice as dangerous as the seasonal flu, it's also a much lower figure than 0.7% for the Delta variant. However, authorities also stress that the fatality rate could be lower than the seasonal flu among those who've gotten their booster shots. And data also shown that the fatality rate for Omicron for people under 50 is 0%. As of now, many experts are predicting the pandemic will become endemic, but they are very, uh, still very cautious as to making any call on when exactly this will happen. KDCA Chief Chung eun Gyung hinted that this outcome is possible if enough immunity is formed in the population and the medical system remains under control without the introduction of a new deadly variant. But Min Jung, we hear that the education ministry is still concerned about the current situation, and this prompted them to change their return to school measures. Right, Mulgyan, with fears over Omicron, uh, the education authorities have said that schools can freely um, implement online classes or adjust school hours during the first two weeks of the spring semester. This means if the virus situation worsens, all classes can be switched to 100% online. Initially, the, uh, uh, the education ministry decided to have students return to classrooms in the upcoming semester despite the current surge. And schools were advised to switch to online classes if 3% of all students at a school were infected or 15% of all students in a single grade were absent due to infection or self-isolation. But now this new guideline has been scrapped for the first two weeks due to the increasing number of students coming down with the virus. Uh, confirmed cases among teenagers under 19 years old, old doubled last week compared to the week before with more than 153,000 cases. Right. Uh, fortunately, the uh, fatality rate for people under 50 in South Korea is still zero percent, but we still don't want to see students becoming sick. Now, Novavax's vaccine was the fifth shot to be approved for use here in South Korea. It was hoped that this would encourage more unvaccinated people uh, to get vaccinated, and it seems to be the case. Right, Mark. Um, the number of people getting first shots increased by almost 20,000 on week after inoculations for Novavax's vaccine began in February 14th. More than 43,000 people were vaccinated uh, with first shots during that week, which is up by around 19,000 from the week before. Uh, around 63% of them receive the Novavax vaccine. And the vaccine is being met with less reluctance from people as it was developed using a more traditional method than used to make existing vaccines. There were also positive outcomes regarding Pfizer's oral drug. A survey conducted on around 300 Paxlovid recipients showed that the drug was useful in treating respiratory symptoms and sore throats, according to 81% of the respondents. And the majority said they began to recover within three days of being treated. 
Data also showed that none of the people who took the complete uh, five-day course of the drug became severely ill or died. All right, Minjo, thank you so much for your report. Talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.